And of course, you're right smack dab in the middle of summer. And one thing that we do have a chance to uh, you know, experience is the beauty that surrounds us. But what if we really want to take that beauty and enhance it? Absolutely. Uh, Michelle Brown, our very own here, loves to kind of get dirty and dig in the dirt, <laughs> especially when it comes to things you can grow. And she wants to introduce us to a wonderful farm that is doing that right here in central Iowa. So let's take it over to the kitchen with Michelle Brown this morning. Thank you. Yes, nothing brightens up uh, a life or space like flowers do. And I have uh, Jen and Adam O'Neill from Pepper Harrow Farm out of Winterset, boutique, beautiful boutique flower farm. And they're here today to talk flowers. And for those of um, them at home that really aren't familiar with Pepper Harrow Farm, why don't you kind of give them the, you've got a great little story and how you got started. Yeah, I don't know. Um, you go. Well, it's, it's been a long dream of ours to own a farm. Uh, and in 2011, we finally made that dream come true and have been building a farm slowly since then. We've been really slow at growing our farm, but yeah, it's been a- It's a, beautiful out there. Yeah. I met you guys through, I did a, a farm to table dinner that you had out there, which mm -hmm. was gorgeous. So I kind of got to experience the farm. Um, talk about some of like the flowers that you grow. You were talking about, you have several acres of flower or of, of ground devoted to the flowers. What are some of the most popular flowers? Are you growing a nice variety? Uh, well, so we grow many different kinds of flowers. Uh, we're pretty much known for our mixed bouquets, so we like to grow a wide diversity of flowers on the farm. Uh, some of our, of our most favorite flowers are, of course, sunflowers, which we brought for you to enjoy yes. today. And, and everything's like in prime season right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Everything's so beautiful. It's looking beautiful right now. <laughs> uh, and then dahlias are the other kind of main crop that we're growing this year. And dahlias aren't known for their extremely long vase life, but they're incredibly gorgeous, as you can see, fluffy. They come in all kinds of different shapes and sizes, all different kinds of different colors. They're just one of our favorites for the season. And they typically don't come on until July, but they go from July until October. So they're one of our favorite late season flowers. Okay, and then talk about maybe some, what are some of the kind of latest trends in floral design? Because I know you guys do a lot of events and different things for people yeah. as well as just your fresh cut flowers. So what's, what's hot right now? Well, okay, so of course we have kind of the natural, uh, wild looking aesthetic. It's uh, something that looks a little bit different, but a little bit more loose and free form looking. That's this is, so an, e this is an example of a, a bridal bouquet that uh, we're getting lots of requests for things that look like we went and just picked this out of our garden. So. <laughs> Um, that those are the kinds of bridal bouquet requests that we're getting from brides. Okay. Uh, so what I about think, for like home flowers? You mm -hmm. know, just something there, the home or office. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, well, I mean, bright and beautiful yeah. for home and office. People want colorful, bright, and beautiful, and seasonal. Honestly, it yeah. it really it's an ebb and flow of the season from you know beautiful springy colors mm -hmm. in the spring to well what we have right now an, an explosion of of a rainbow. Yeah, so these are, this is one of our most popular farmer's market bouquets. It's a takeaway bouquet is what we call it. There's a little jar in, in underneath here, and basically people can just come buy this. It's already in water. They can take it away and go set it on their, in their home or on their desk at, at the office and get to enjoy these flowers all week long. Now, when people, because uh, I know at farmer's markets, everybody loves to, to buy the fresh cut flowers and take them home and uh, arrange them and so forth. What are some of the, because I know there's some things to look for when you're buying fresh flowers that, um, what to get, you know, making sure they're healthy and then how to get the longest life out of them when you get them home. Definitely. So when you're out looking for flowers, uh, we usually educate for sunflowers specifically. Try to find a sunflower that is not completely closed. So I'd say this is uh, not completely open. So this is an example of a sunflower that's partially open. Okay. And what this will do is it'll continue to open up and give you the longest amount of vase life possible. And that's what people really want. When they buy flowers, they want to make sure that they're going to last yeah. a long time and that they can enjoy them. This is going to be the thing that helps give a lot more time in the vase. And when you get them home, a fresh cut okay. and consistent, clean water. Is there anything that that helps at, when you add it to the water, baking yeah. soda, or, yeah. you know, any of that so, kind of stuff? Yeah, we give a flower packet to people okay. when they buy a bouquet from us. Um, if not, a little drop of bleach or a little pinch of sugar works 
Well, oh, a pinch of sugar. Yes. That's yep. a good little a good little tip. What about um, for those who like to grow flowers at home? You guys obviously know what you're doing in that area. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what are some of the tips? Because, I mean, you're they're so beautiful and that you have such abundance, you know, so for those of us who maybe want to try to grow some flowers at home um, for cutting purposes, what are some tips that you have in that regard? Well, I'll start. Our primary recommendation is start flowers that you can uh, easily grow. Uh, there's some very simple flowers like sunflowers and zinnias and things like that that the home gardener should start out by growing something that's easier and then generally branch out from there. Do you um, have any input and, on that? And also you can think outside of the box. Our, this little bouquet right here, the greenery is basil. Oh, so you can think yeah. of herbs. Yeah, putting yeah. some of your herbs and other greenery that you have in there. Mm -hmm. but Very nice. Yeah, the same recommendation, keeping it simple, zinnias, sunflowers. Those are some celosias. of the flowers that are the easiest to grow? Mm -hmm. yeah. and, okay. they, and they do well as cut flowers. Okay. Um, and then for those who want to, you know, how to find your fly, I know you guys are down at the Des Moines Farmer's Market, right, on Correct. Saturdays? Mm -hmm. Yep. And then talk about some of the other places that they can find your fresh cut flowers. So we are at Gateway Market. Um, you can find us through hy vs throughout the Des Moines metro area. Okay. We sell to area florists and designers across the state. Um, we have little boutique shops like the Grateful Chef uh, in Des Moines where we sh she keeps our flowers too. Yeah, and um, a couple restaurants also buy flowers from us. So you can see our flowers at Harbinger and yeah. a couple other locations too. Yeah. And then are you trying to do a few more events and things there at the farm? Mm -hmm. To I know you like to help people with floral design yeah. and doing all kinds of things. So maybe talk about, do you have some upcoming events that are exciting to for all of us yeah. to maybe attend? We sure do. Uh, we have a farm to table coming up the first weekend in October. It's on Saturday. We'll be posting that event out soon. Uh, we have Dahlia Design classes coming up in the month of September. Uh, they're almost full, so okay. we think that we'll be adding a special additional class in featuring a local, local pottery from a local artist. Okay. So we, we like to keep things local, uh, so we'll have local pottery and offer our local flowers. Yeah, you guys do a nice yeah. job of that. Yeah, so we're looking forward to those events. Is there anything I missed? Um, and this year we're doing a flower farming workshop, so a full weekend immersion into learning about wow. the farm and people who are interested interested in flower farming itself, they get to spend an, an entire weekend with us and learn how we do things. Oh, exciting. And if you want to find out more, you can go to pepperharrowfarm.com. You're also on social media at Pepper Harrow Farm, and uh, they can learn more about you, where to find you, and I think you guys do a great job. Thank you for coming Thanks. in. Thank you. Nothing better than working with flowers <laughs> every day, I imagine, right? Right. It's, <laughs> happy, it's happy, a happy. <laughs> we have uh, Get Wow coming up next with Doug Ware, so stay tuned. Mm -hmm.